The crash in cryptocurrency has seen investors lose billions of dollars in the past few weeks, but one Brisbane man is sitting pretty after cashing in and buying his first house. He'd made more than a million dollars when crypto hit its peak late last year, but the profit also came with a huge tax bill. From a garage in his parents' home, Joe Bridge became a crypto success story. My reported income for this year is clear over a million dollars. He now owns two motorbikes and a house after mining the blockchain currency. The gentleman we bought this place off actually accepted a screenshot of the balance of a Bitcoin wallet. The 38-year-old cashed in before the market crashed and is out of crypto for now. But would I recommend it? No. He says it's risky and not a get-rich-quick scheme, but more and more Australians are taking the gamble, even though the bubble has burst. You know, over the last few years, uh, we know a million Aussies have got a crypto account. The Australian tax office warns investors can't hide their profits and will be data matching in this year's tax crackdown. So we've got data matching protocols with crypto uh, currency exchanges. The tax office collects names, addresses, telephone numbers and transaction details from cryptocurrency exchanges. Buying, selling or swapping one cryptocurrency for another are all subject to capital gains tax and it must be reported. Mr Bridge put nearly $300,000 aside for his tax. It's definitely the biggest one that I'll have ever paid by a long, long margin. Despite Bitcoin plummeting from a $93,000 peak late last year to just $25,000 in recent weeks, people are buying in. So worldwide, on a global scale, the amount of people that have adopted cryptocurrency today is equivalent to the amount of people that have adopted the internet in 1998. And for those who got in early, it's changed their lives. <laughs> yeah, I do have to pinch myself sometimes a bit about that. Kim Ages, ABC News.